Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Z and it feels so good to be back. I'm sorry I've been gone for a while. I've been sick for the past few weeks and things have been kind of crazy, but I want to bring you an all new Easter egg video. Um, real quick before we get into that, this is actually the dynamic PS4 theme you get for pre-ordering the first DLC. I believe it's called Sabotage. And so it's the Raven the Redwoods um, little theme they have going on here. And you can see it's really cool. You get to see the, the house in rave mode and you can see that the paintings on the house actually kind of come to life when you're in rave mode they actually move around and pop out and things so it's really neat really cool you guys really need to check it out if you're going to get raven to redwoods you might as well pre-order it and pre-install it and all of that good shit so moving on so we have a really awesome theory for you guys today me and son of sin well it's actually mostly son of sin i can't take credit for this but a lot of youtubers have been talking about how we noticed that the projection room is going to be coming back as the pack a punch room it's probably going to be the pack a punch room for every single map since we are going every single map is going to be movie so different movie but we're still going to be going to the projection room to pack a punch which means all these maps are taking place in the same theater just a different movie really cool right everybody's talking about it. everybody knows it now here Here's where it gets into something that's pretty freaking interesting i found interesting um son said what if they do a cross map easter egg where you can actually once you do that ritual inside the pack-a-punch room you'll actually be able to travel to the other maps while in gameplay and that's a really awesome theory that's something that zombie fans have really wanted for a, an extremely long time is the ability to move seamlessly from map to map while inside of your game so I could be like on round 10 inside of like Nocturne Toten and then take a portal over to Verrucked and then do Verrucked from there on and then if I want I could go back to Noct and you know different things like that and we kind of got that a little bit with Revelations they tried to do like a cross map easter egg but not really, it was just a giant map of old maps. <laughs> it really wasn't a cross map easter egg like we all imagined. So using the same projection room would actually give Infinite Warfare the ability to do a cross map easter egg like that where we could seamlessly go to any map we want and we could do like a giant cross map easter egg as the final easter egg which I think would be really awesome like a super easter egg like the one we never freaking got in Black Ops 3. <laughs> but I'm not going to harp on that. So this is a really good theory and all, but there, there's a couple problems that really bug me about this theory that I have to address because as much as I love it, I have to be realistic. And the problem with this is a lot of people buy different DLCs. They don't. Not everybody buys the season pass and has every map pack. So if they did a cross map Easter egg, people that buy just DLC four would have access to every single map. So it would. It really wouldn't be fair. And I don't really know how they would be able to block that because you would have to be able to play the DLC four map, which would have the cross map Easter egg in it, and so you would have access to every map if you want it. So that's kind of a huge, you know, I don't know how they would get around that roadblock. I don't know anything about making the games. So if there's a way for them to get around it, then that'd be cool. Because obviously you couldn't just say, well, you know, you get this map, but you don't have online access. So you can't play with other people that have all the maps and they can do the cross map Easter egg and you can't do the cross map Easter egg. And I mean, there's just no way to block that, I feel like. So that's one huge problem with the cross map easter egg. Also the file side would, would be huge. You would have to re-download, basically it would have to be one huge map. In order for this to work, you would have to make all take all the maps and just make them into one huge map that you can just teleport to using the Pack-a-Punch room, which would be amazing, but the file size would be insane. And it would be such a huge map and I don't I don't know anything about like processing power and all of that but I know I can imagine that if we had all five maps and we're waiting for it to you know in, in not install but for it to load up sorry guys, I had a brain fart so if we have all five maps in this huge file size it's gonna take forever to load up and even still I, I just don't know about the Xbox one and ps 4s capabilities if they could handle a file size that large if you guys know what I'm saying so, like I said, I'm not technical at all. I don't know anything about all this. Maybe file size and, you know, the map sizes have nothing to do with it. Maybe processing power has nothing to do with it and it's all capable. But these are just some issues that I worry about. But like I said, I love the idea. I absolutely am in love with this theory that we're going to get this cross map Easter egg. Just not really sure how they would work out all the kinks and how all of it would work. So, just some thoughts for you guys. Let me know in the description, or not in the description, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this. Would this be an awesome idea? 
would you love a cross map easter egg where we could seamlessly travel to all the different maps i i love it i think it would be amazing it's something we've wanted for a really long time but due to the reasons that i just said it's something that we haven't gotten yet but we do know that infinite warfare they're really trying hard to outdo black ops and they really want to become known for their zombie mode and they want to make fans happy and they're listening to us constantly they're tweeting and things like that so it's really cool I, I really like that they're taking an interest in their fan base and they want to make us happy and that would be a huge way to get a lot of fans on board with their zombie mode so I just want to bring that to you guys let me know again let me know what you guys think in the comments down below uh, feel free to hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or even on iFunny. We're absolutely everywhere. Links are in the description down below. And click the giant Z icon if you're new to the channel. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button. And as always, thank you for watching. I am the one and only Z. Bye-bye.